Hi, welcome to Slice of Life. My name is Fight Snipe, and this has been one annoying, stressful week. So, um, last time I told you that my mom was in the hospital, yeah? Um, I've been going there every day. Um, it's, it's, the fact that I'm going there is not that big of a problem. The fact, the only problem is that it, it takes away from my sleep. So I normally sleep around 12, but I leave the hospital at 12. So, yeah, that's had been an adjustment for me that week. So uh, the hospital visits were fine. Um, not nothing interesting that happened there. My mom was they had her on antibiotic. They finally got one that worked for her. Um, last time she had an allergic reaction, which pissed me off so much. They tested for it. It tested positive for an allergic reaction, and they still tried to do it. Those fuckers. Whatever. Anyway, so she she had her an antibiotics. So she's good now. She's actually out. She was out yesterday, uh, which was right uh, perfect because my, we were celebrating my sister's birthday yesterday as well. Um, it was in a place called one oasis it's te technically a condominium subdivision like there's a lot of condominiums in that area so we 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 were there at their clubhouse so um before i go into that i just wanted to say one of the one of the highlights of my visit to the hospital was i saw this guy who um who had an eye patch on very uh, shaggy hair and beard and the only thing missing was him sporting a cigarette which was, is actually illegal here already so um at the moment i saw him i i thought to myself metal gear <sighs> anyway so yeah the birthday so the bir the birthday was in a place called one oasis it was hot like really hot um Luckily, they let us stay in the shade. It was it, that place was actually reserved. Someone already booked a party for the the little clubhouse thing for with the shade, but they allowed to let us stay un, until uh, the party started. So that gave us four or five hours in the shade. By the time we moved out, uh, the sun already was beyond the horizon, so it was it was okay. Um, the food was good. Uh. I am not gonna go into details. Not, it's not, it's very boring. Um, I I did get to talk to my uncle again. We talked about business stuff, like we always do. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, but that was more of the highlights of the week. The the week, like I said, was very stressful. Like I didn't get enough sleep and. I actually had to terminate someone at work. I don't want to talk about it, but I did not want to talk about it. But this guy, this fucking guy, is such a character. So, um, I work in a call center. So basically, we take in calls, and um. This guy has was we caught him releasing twelve calls. One, releasing one call is grounds enough for termination because you're paid to take calls. If you if you're releasing calls, then you don't want to be there. We don't want you to be there. So bye. But we we didn't notice it until uh it was too late. He already released twelve. That's the ones we found. So we talked to him, hey, he noticed you released 12 calls, why, why, why are you doing this? He said he's trying to hit his target. So there's one target that's focused specifically on how much time you are on a call. So it's an, it averages out. So if he has a very long call, he disconnects calls so that um, it balances itself out. He managed to hit our goal for that particular metric, but he did so in a way that's not all right. He basically 
uh, hit goal by doing one of our cardinal sins. And when asked about, he did not know that, that what he did was wrong. Like, um, I'm not sure if he comprehended that what he did was the wrong thing. So when he asked, we asked him like, if you did, if you hit your goal by doing this, what do you call that? Is it good? Is it bad? He said, no, it's called handling. It's like, he acted like it's something everyone should be doing. The fucker. So this thing, this fucking thing could have cost us, could have cost everyone their jobs. If the client found it before we did, that would have ruined our relationship with them. That would have sabotage um, our chance of winning the account. Oh yeah, we are still trying to win the account. Things like this shouldn't be happening. Doing something like this endangers everyone. From the, the managers to the VIP. It's just... The agents, the supervisors, the trainers, the QAs, the the managers, the VP, it endangers everyone. And the fact that he showed no remorse at all pisses me off. We we released him that day. He, he's still technically part of the company. He, there's a hearing next week, whatever. Um, I'm not... I'm not optimistic with his outcome. Optimistic for me, I'm not his, whatever. So, one of my agents talked to him after after work to see to do a temperature check on the situation, and he was offended. Not that he did it. He was offended that he got caught. Like he even he even said something that our company was so ha lucky to have him. Because by the time we hired him, there was another company who was vying for his um, application. Like, what the fuck, dude? You endangered the well, the livelihood of thirty people, and you're the victim. Fuck you. Not only that, that guy has. He was so proud of it leading up to the termination. Like, he looked up at the board, saw that his handle time was low, and wanted me to celebrate it. I already knew what he was doing. I was just waiting for the go from RHR to terminate him. And he still wanted me to celebrate. Like, fuck dude, no. And he borrows money from people. Uh, I know he owes... 15,000 from someone and uh, uh, some petty cash uh, for from others. He tried to borrow money from me and This was this week when my mom was in the hospital. I said dude. No, my mom's in the hospital I'm burning more cash than I I am supposed to be burning so I Can't lend you any money right now um, Outside of that I was terminating him on the day So I knew that if I lended him money, he won't pay it back his response was fucking amazing. Like, so here's the guy asking help, wanting to borrow money, and I pushed back saying, "No, my mom's in the hospital." Instead of sympathizing with me, at least empathizing in at some level, he basically said, "Isn't your mom? Doesn't your mom have insurance? Why are you spending more money?" my my temper flared the moment he said that i wanted to grab him by the neck smash his head into the keyboard pick up the phone and bash his skull in honestly thinking about it makes me angry he has no respect for other people at all a very selfish fucker and I'm glad that we fired him and I hope in his next job he gets fired as well he has a kid 
he had a fucking kid and he I I I don't know what he's doing. He's probably on drugs. One would think that having a child would give someone some sense of responsibility, some sense of worth. But no. This guy is just a selfish asshole. And I pity the kid, honestly. So yeah, that's my week. My fucking stressful week. Anyway, um, hopefully next week is better. There is an event that I'm going to. Um, it's to celebrate the milestone, um, a milestone party technically. So I'm part of that party because I've been five years with our company. Um, yeah, uh, next week I might get my TI. Hopefully. So yeah, bye.